Hello there explorers and welcome to a Bugman's life. It's really good to see you guys. Today we're going to look for some more orchids and then we're getting an expert on botany to tell us what the benefits are of burning a grassland. So explorers, this patch of natural grassland has burned quite a while ago and I might have missed the orchids that flower directly after the fire. But that is not a problem because there's a lot of other flowers and insects that I can still show you. And after the first rains come, I will be able to show you different orchid species that only flower after the first rains. So guys, this is Arnold Frisbee. He's a botanist and a specialist of grassland flowers. Well, from what I know. He says he disagrees, but if I show him any flower, he knows what it is. I don't get to stump him anytime, like every flower he knows. So I'm gonna put him over to explain fires in grasslands, why it's needed and why it's good. Hello everyone, so here we find ourselves in a beautiful grassland that just a few weeks ago was black because a fire went through it. So I'm sure a lot of people saw it and thought it's just another burnt piece of felt. Um, but today it's actually green and even more surprisingly it's full of colour. There's all kinds of wildflowers emerging and that is largely thanks to the fire. See, if a grassland doesn't burn every two to three years, the grass takes over and starts to die and it starts to cover other flowers, so you lose diversity. Also, if it doesn't burn often enough, woody trees like acacia start to appear and eventually it's a woodland. Um, and again, a lot less diverse than the grassland would have been. So there's a few very special ones out here that might surprise people, including indigenous orchids. Not the orchids that you see in shops for sale, they're actually indigenous ground orchids. So same family, similar flowers, but usually a lot smaller, but crucially growing in the ground. And uh, I think we'll show you a few of them today. So it might be hard to see, but right here we actually have a wild orchid. Very hidden between all the plants around it, so very easy to miss. This is Elophia hyans variety in Aquilis, and it's a real beaut. This yellow flowered plant, which is responsible for most of the splashes of yellow around here, is Hypoxus hemerocalidia, also known as the African potato, although it is not at all related to the potato we eat. This plant is rather known because of its medicinal uses, and it's so effective that it's actually endangered in many parts of the wild due to overharvesting. Look at this guys, I just found a solifugid, also known as a sun spider or a red roman. Contrary to belief, this is actually not a spider, but it comes from the order Solifugidae, which is just a sister order to spiders. So guys, that concludes our short exploration of this natural grassland. I would like to thank Arnold very much, just because he came out to help us a bit. In the future, he'll be joining us when we go look for some more orchids and to show us some other plants. 
you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Then remember to explore, discover, and share. And we'll see you explorers next time.